have a matte finish, but on the back you have a high glossy and reflective surface, which tracks quite a bit of fingerprints even though it looks pretty nice. There are a few applications that you can use this keyboard when paired to a tablet or even a computer that would make sense. For one, if you're traveling, it's a nice option. Secondly, if you have a computer hooked up to a monitor and you're sitting on your couch browsing the web, this is a good option to go with. Taking a closer look here, we have a multifunctional touchpad area. Uh, the first function is as a numerical D-pad that you can tap on. The second function over here is as a multi-touch enabled touchpad, so you can pinch in, pinch out, and it also supports any zoom uh, gestures uh, and going up and down on web pages. Over here of the key uh, keyboard itself, which again is on the smaller side of the spectrum. So if you have larger hands, it takes some acclimation to get used to. The keys themselves have a nice click to them when you tap on them, and it's pretty responsive and easy to use. With that being said, I would have preferred larger keys and buttons, um, but Overall, it does a pretty good job. On the back, you can see that the actual compartment which holds the uh, two AAA batteries also dubs as a stand, so it props up the, ang the keyboard at a nice angle when you're typing, which is a nice feature to have. There's also a few rubber feet which prevents the unit from sliding around when you place it on a surface or onto a desk. You also find access to a power on-off switch on the very back when you're not using the product. So once we're paired to an Android device, it's quite simple to use. We have it on an LG G Flex right now. And as you can see here, I can also bring up uh, the use of a on-screen D-pad right now. So the touchpad here actually does the same thing as kind of a scroll wheel. It's going to go back and forth between different applications. If I wanted to, I can go over here to the second application, which allows me to bring up uh, a optical mouse, so that's going to show up on screen. You can see that it dubs as a traditional mouse for me to navigate around, perhaps from browsing the web, looking at ebooks, and it works pretty nicely. Uh, and otherwise, I can also type on things relatively comfortably without too many errors. After I used it for about an hour or two, I got kind of used to it. Looking through a camera, it's still going to be slightly difficult to type on, but if I try my best over here, I can type something like, this is a test. And you can see there's very little lag. It works quite nicely. There's also auto correction in your phone, which should uh, eliminate any errors if they do appear. So it's definitely workable if you're on the go or uh, maybe on a bus or you're going to type on a plane. It's a nice thing to have because it's portable enough to sit onto the tray that might be sitting in front of you on a plane or on a longer train ride. So it works nicely for those options. You'll see some dedicated keys that's built for different operating systems on board. Like we have an Android key on top, which brings up an automatic automatic search key. We have one for Windows and also one for iOS. Uh, the function keys on down below over here. There's also a dedicated Windows key that will bring up the start drawer if you're using Windows. 7 or Windows 8, and those work nicely as well. In terms of drivers, it's a basic plug-and-play connection, so there are none that are needed, and when we tested it with different operating systems from Windows 8 to Windows 7 uh, to Android and iOS, we didn't have any compatibility issues. Again, it's pretty fast. Even if you turn your phone off, uh, the Bluetooth will still be connected with that 10 meter range. So let's say I tap on something over here, you'll see it automatically wakes up my phone and works quite nicely. So at the end of the day, I have to say that the InSun wireless Bluetooth keyboard with touchpad is an interesting combination. It's ultra portable, it's inexpensive, and the unique selling point here is going to be that touchpad, which actually works quite well. It's pretty sensitive, you can scroll around with it, use a mouse and click on it, and it's a nice feature to have in general.